I know, I know, it's the holiday season and you're really struggling to think of gift ideas for that person that's collected all the Pokemon cards from this year, aka Ando. No, seriously, like there are literally people that, you know, seem to have collected all the Pokemon cards, you don't know what to get them, and that's why I always recommend custom cards. So yeah, the absolute legend over at the custom card shop actually sent us this massive care package. We got one to four right here of a bunch of different custom cards that he's made throughout this year. I guess a bit of a highlight reel and I'll link his Etsy and his, I think, eBay and Facebook all in the description as well. And then we also have more custom cards after this as well. So you're going to get a huge variety. I love this. It's a watercolored paint of uh, Pikachu looking into his card. So, I don't know if you can tell, but like, this card right here from Celebrations, that's the behind the scenes of it. This is what I'm talking about, guys. The Pokemon fan that, you know, has everything, that has that card, it's the perfect alteration that Pokemon... Look at this! He's done it again! So he's got the bit of a theme, like, it looks like with these new custom cards, he's really taken... Oh my goodness. He's taken this 3D approach, like... What would the Pokemon have to be doing to get that image of the actual Pokemon card? That's from Jungle. I don't know if you remember that or not. Hey, no way! We've got a bit of a Breaking Bad, a Better Call Saul reference right here. we got Saul's Pikachu. Come on. I know so many people are a big fan of this TV show. And then we got Ash's Greninja, a.k.a. Santa Claus. Ash's Greninja was such a big thing. Do you remember that when it got announced? Everyone was such, like, hyped about it. They didn't really understand. Oh, my goodness! It's Christmas edition, onesie wearing flying Pikachu. Merry Christmas, Thundershock. Merry Christmas, man. Thank you so much. This is epic. Oh, okay. Suicune strutting his stuff in a bit of a Christmas onesie. Blizzard Rondo. Oh, gosh, I'm going to put this down. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. That's for later. Look at this. We've got a PSA Pokemon card. Now, this would never happen because PSA and Pokemon, I guess, would never team up per se. Um, or the other way around, you know? That is sick. I actually really like that. What do you guys think? Put that one to the side. Oh, wow! Black Adam's, uh, Pikachu. This is The Rock's new movie. Shazam and Thunder Jolt. Did everyone see it in the movies? I actually saw it. Then we got the classic, was uh, looks like a Psychic-type Umbreon right here. Perfect, like, purple eyes. Umbreon is such a photogenic Pokemon that you could probably put any color mixed in there. It's gonna look fantastic. We got Gengar V, aka The Grinch. And then he's got Horn and Steel Christmas with 100. This might be my new favorite. What do you think? Lime green Grinch flavored uh, Gengar? I'm done. I'm done. Look at this. It's little Pikachu. He's tiny. Buzz and Shock right there. Then we got Carnage Charizard V. Now this is a uh, Carnage and Venom reference if you haven't seen Venom 2. But it looks amazing. Charizard right there. And we're going to have the Venom. So you got Carnage, you're going to have the Venom as well. I think Venom's probably a bit more of a fan favorite, but we'll see. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> this is great. Look at that. The camera's on a tripod and he's photographing through the card. Slowpoke's so far away in that original art. This is how it was taken. I love it. Spacing out and uh, scavenge as the attack. Oh, no way! Behind the scenes of the Pikachu Illustrator! The most expensive card in the world? Now, you guys know this card right here. Obviously, that's a Bangarooski. That's the behind the scenes. Wigglytuff right there? Gives me Rick and Morty vibes, or maybe it's a different card. Yeah, it's okay, I'm thinking it's Rick and Morty, because this one right here is like, isn't it Rick? I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. We got Gengar right here with Dark Mind, and we got a derpy as looking Machamp. Dude, I love the colors in the backgrounds. Okay, this is the Nintendo line, guys. We got Boo. And that's obviously replacement for, uh, is it Ghastly? I think it is, yeah. Ghastly. And then Donkey Kong. So this was the, I think this is the replacement for the Snorlax card that was in Jungle. That's amazing. <laughs> then we got Yoshi, which is the uh, Charmander card. I love it, first edition. And Bowser, which I presume is the Blastoise. And what do we got here? Is this Vampire Venusaur? It must be. I was thinking with the spider webs, maybe it had something to do with Spider-Man 3, but no, I think it's just zombieified or Halloween edition cards. We got the Halloween Blastoise, and look at that! Oh my goodness! Evil looking Charizard right there. And the Pokevengers! Alright, who we got right here? Meowth is Black Panther, I love it. Why is Electabuzz Thor though? Machoke, and uh, we've also got Scizor as Iron Man. I guess that kind of makes a bit of sense. Oh, here we got, here's the boys right here. Look at that. We got the Hulk in the background, Doctor Strange. 
Yo, this is fantastic. And then we got Flying Ditto V. We got V Transformation and Fly, which are the staple attacks. I love the like purple sort of design of Pikachu and the Flying Halloween Edition. So we must have, I think the last care package we did with him must have been right before Halloween. Because I'm loving some of these Halloween designs. And then we got, oh my god, oh, okay. We got the Umbreon and Espeon Tag Team Christmas Edition Pokemon card. Christmas Shine and Endgame right there. Dude, these are sick. And Jack's Pikachu. No way, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, I love it so much. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm such a big Christmas fan. I am the, like, every time Christmas rolls around, it's my favorite season. I start listening to the carols in about November. So I'm all for it. This is adorable. I really like the simplistic art, and I think Pokemon should do more of that. Something special about the simplistic, weirdly drawn artwork. Venusaur. So it looks like he's, like, implying that when they have the three evolutions going up to Venusaur, the base evolution's at the bottom, then it'd be Ivasaur, then it'd be Venusaur, and he's ripped off a layer, and that's created a see-through element, because you still got Venusaur here. I was so confused, I was like, no way he stuffed that up. Yeah, same with the Charizard. Yeah, oh my gosh, the guy's a legend. Look at this, no way he's cooking that, because we got the Charizard and Charmander, which I think if you're a big fan of the original, these are going to scream out to you. You're going to be like, this is the coolest thing ever. Because it just like, I don't know, it covers a lot of bases. You still get the ultra rare, but you get to see the really cool artwork for the starter. Then you got Doctor Strange's Alakazam GX, which looks amazing. These are like the Poke Avengers we saw before. I love this one. This is just bonkers. Who would have thought? In 2022, you're about to finish the year, but little Timmy, you're going to have to be subjected to Snorlax with a six pack. Then we got Mankey GX as well, jumping out from the explosion. We got Jinx as well, and a Machoke GX is Captain America and Meowth as Black Panther. Look at that golden Pokeball. But let's split this in two. Oh, sugar. It's soccer season. Oh my. Has he? I think he's done the entire base set. All right. Before we get into the base set gold reprint that he's made right here, which is always really cool. And I think you guys love it as well. But this is the World Cup card. Now, why is he wearing an England jersey? Probably should be an Australian jersey. Or if you're from America, maybe an American one, a Canada one. I think it's just because the guy's from England, so that's why I made this card. Pikachu and Deadpool. I think this was from the last holiday season. I ve Oh, I vaguely remember something like that. Ando's Pikachu, Santa edition. Dude, I love these Pikachu uh, Santa outfits. That's one of my favorites. This is a really cool one. It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Squirtle Squad. They're wearing the little like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, eye bands right there. And then we got the Mew GX Christmas Edition. But one of the highlights is he's recreated, I think it's every card in the base set. Oh my goodness me, this must have been the biggest undertaking in the entire world. Because he selected the original 151, and he hasn't just gone, you know what, let's get all the base set artwork. He's gone, what is that Pokemon's best art? I'm going to find that card, whether it be from Jungle, Fossil, or base set. So obviously you've got your Holographic Charizard, you get your Blastoise, your Venusaur. But ladies and gentlemen... The black and gold colors on some of these original jungle cards, I think are unbeatable. Like, literally, when we get to the bottom there, you saw that Flareon. We're going to come back to it, because it's such a slapper. Even Wigglytuff, its eyeballs are glowing gold. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Ando, that was really, really sick. You've checked out the first link in the description. But I've also got another custom card artist who always sends stuff into the channel known as Drew's Custom Cards. And he actually sent us this care package right here. So let's have a look. And I'll link this guy... Uh, as the second link in the description, if you do want to check it out. He has a different art style, but it's something always really well thought out. Oh, these are, oh, look at this. Individually sleeved up and everything. Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur birthday party. And then you got your birthday right there. So for me, it'd be 30th of March. Oh, I like this because you know what? Even if you didn't like the starters or the middle ones, you could sort of pick your favorites. This is so sick. Look at that. Birthday Blastoise, Charmander, and Venusaur. <gasps> oh, Sugar, Scarlet, and Violet cards, guys. So we got the two legendaries. Which one have you picked? I mean, I am a bit of a Scarlet fan, so I did go with this one. You know, got the bit of a motorbike vibes going on right there, but I love it. And Fukoko! I don't want to start any, like, wars or riots in the comments, but I did pick the Fire Dino Fukoko right there, which is just amazing. And then we should have Quaxley. Oh, no way. And then we've also got Sprigatito. In fact, this is my first ever plush toy I got was Sprigatito, but... Fukoko is probably my favorite, and that's who I chose in the video games. I love this. This is a screenshot, an AR card, I guess, out of... It looks like Fire Red Leaf Green, but what would Mewtwo do? Probably demolish Mew right there. Mewtwo looks sick with that sprite. Oh, my... How much detail is in this thing, bro? Drew, you're super talented, man. 
So we've put all the legendaries down here, like Best Bright, Uixie, and all that. And then we've got Entei, and then the birds up there. And these are like the original artworks, I think, of um, some of the original promo cards from Wizard of the Coast. Dude, that is bonkers. We've got the Lullaby card, Sleeping Starters, Jigglypuff having a bit of a sing-along. Whoa, what is this? <gasps> Can you see that? It literally transforms! Okay, this is fantastic! So a token card, which can be used as any token, that transforms from the Blue Eyes White Dragon to Dark Magician. It's doing the opposite on camera is what I can see in person, but... <laughs> hey, no way! Shining Charizard! Although it kind of looks like if Charizard went through the x-ray machine at the airport, I'll be honest. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Baby Lugia! The really cool part about Drew's uh, custom cards is they're kind of handmade. Like, look at this 3D element with the hollow pattern in the background. Now, what else do we have here before we get into the crazy stuff? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got Evolution Full Up right here, which is another AR card. A white Charizard! So they got the Shining Charizard, the white Charizard, the regular Charizard. Okay, this is amazing. My first ever Yu-Gi-Oh! theme deck was Joey's, and that had the Red Eyes Black Dragon. So the Red Eyes Black Charizard Dragon is fantastic. I still stand by Red Eyes Black Dragon. Oh my goodness. It's going to be one of the best cards. And this right here, this is the card of the day for me. I, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm not afraid to say. I do like Lugia, I mean, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh a bit. Cross that win with uh, Charizard. That is just so sick. Isn't that cool? 400 HP. Okay. This could have been this could have been a Pokemon card. Surely, if they implemented video games and TCG a bit better, this could have been something. Lavender Town Ghost? Amazing. Okay, put that to the side. And then we got Enjoy Just For You. All right, Drew, what do you sent into the channel? This is the first one. Boom. Hey, it's me. Okay, you can't see that too well on camera. But look at this. The shine is off the charts. I'm wearing my own uh, Unless Leaf merch that I've never actually made. I got the, ma the Master Ball. And it's got Thunderous, Shining Charizard, and Pikachu. Dude, this is so sick. Thank you so much. You got the hair exactly on point. <gasps> the Unless Leaf Gold card. Maybe I'll give one of these away to the comment section. Guys, leave a comment. You know what? I'm going to give two of these away to two, two lucky comments. I'll sign, uh, I'll sign the back or something as well. But if you guys want one of these Ando cards, drop a comment in the uh, comment section and I can give one away. Big thanks to Drew for making these puppies. <gasps> Extra to give away to your followers. Oh, how many do we have? You know what, guys? He's doubled the giveaway. There's four of them right here. So we got four giveaways. If you want to enter it in, drop a comment. What do you think? What is your favorite custom card you saw today? Thank you so much, Drew. And look at this one. It is just a bit of a, uh, a holographic one to end it off with texture on it. It's called Ando Squad. And then we had this final package right here, which was too big to even fit on the unboxing table. Like, this was a proper jumbo card of some kind. So I removed this sticky tape. And when I turned it over, it was a custom Ando unlisted leaf card. But when you, like, sort of tilt it in the sun... It changes patterns into a shiny version. So the Charizard shiny, the Thunderous is as well, even the Pikachu. I thought it was the best thing ever. So thank you so much for all of this thought you put into it. This is going in my awesome custom card collection. Oh, it's like shiny and regular Ando. It's the best. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found a custom card that you enjoyed. Check out the two links in the description below. Both these fantastically talented artists. Thank you again and keep on gaming. Merry Christmas, guys, and happy holidays. Whoosh!